Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So I wanted to make another video since I'm sitting here and I, I had a wonderful conversation with my, my beautiful friend and I just feel it's a conversation everybody should really think about. Especially the young generation that's going into um, relationships or somebody that's looking for a relationship that wants to be married or have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the situation is. I want you to understand how important it is to allow Jesus to be in that relationship. That even goes down to friendships. It's not even a joke. Like the relationship will not last if you build it on quicksand. You need Jesus to be that foundation. Let me tell you this. There's nothing more beautiful than a couple that prays together. They stay together. A woman that prays for her husband and allows him to be a leader. And for that husband to have that connection with God. Where he has that relationship with God. Where he knows where God wants to lead his family. And the woman could submit to her husband. Not like um, people when they think they hear the word submit. They're thinking like a dog or being treated bad. No, it's submit as listening to your husband. To be able to be that leader. And you can trust his lead because he's being led by the voice of God he's being led by God by the fruit of the Holy Spirit and you can trust God and trust your especially trust God to lead your husband okay and that's the same thing for the husband to be able to not take your authority and abuse your family with it build that relationship with God so you can lead your family to where God wants you guys to be. Your family will be so strong. It will be on a foundation that nothing can break. If you are a man or a woman, say like we're gonna we're gonna do like say like a woman that prays all the time, brings her kids to church, but the husband's like, let her do her thing. I'm gonna do my thing. She wants to praise the Lord, let her do her thing, right? The devil is still invited in your home because you are not praying with your wife. You are not building that relationship with your wife, okay? With your family, with your children. So you're allowing the devil to come in and spin stuff up, up in the home. And no matter how much she prays, there will be a war in the home. For you to have protection, you need that foundation of Jesus. He will protect your family and there will, no, will, there will not be any insecurities. There will not be any anger or jealousy in your family because you have the fruit of God. Yes, once in a while you disagree, you agree to disagree. You'll be able to overcome arguments. There won't even be arguments because you will listen with an open ear and an open heart to how your spouse is feeling. And you guys are, are be able to come together to figure out what you guys can do as a loving couple to fix the situation. Instead of arguing and fighting and giving up and looking for someone else's love and support to feel fulfilled. To feel fulfilled and somebody else because you're not getting it from your spouse that's because you're not allowing god to be your foundation and it all starts from the beginning okay and like when you are actually out there searching for your loved one or trying to be in that relationship do not think you have to give up your body man or woman to be in a good relationship i'm telling you guys focus your relationship on jesus Build that foundation. And if you guys are meant to be, you don't have to be booty calls to build a relationship. There's so much more than sex in a relationship. Build the heart. Don't worry about the flesh. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Because if you could save yourself, and it doesn't matter if you're a virgin or not. If you're just in a fresh relationship. Build that relationship where you guys can save yourself for marriage. Because there's nothing more beautiful than saving yourself for marriage. And if you are a virgin, save that. Save that for your spouse. Because it's the most beautiful thing you could do for your husband or your wife. But if you're not, it's okay. Just repent. Build your relationship on the fruits of God. Save that special moment for your spouse. 
it's not about sex in a relationship and the world's got everyone thinking that and that's why everybody is broken and hurt nobody is putting the most important thing in your relationship which is god okay when you guys come together in that moment where you make love it's to build a family that's what god made it for it's not to please the flesh when you find that loved one that really feeds your spirit sex is just a little cherry on top but you're already your flesh is already feeling good it's already feeling great because you got the fruit of the lord in there and i'm telling you the truth that's why there's so many divorces that's why there is so much abortion out there which is the saddest thing because that's a whole nother topic there wouldn't be any abortions if people treat sex responsible what it's really made for it's to make a child it's to build your family it's not the police flesh but the devil got it all twisted up and we're listening to the worldly things and that's why so many innocent children are being sacrificed to ball to the demon and a lot of people don't even know that back in the day they used to give them give children up into the flames of fire and kill their infants and so they can be successful so they can be able to be rich what do you think you're doing now you're giving up your child so you can have an education so you can be rich so you can work on that money and of course everybody wants to be successful but do it in the right way don't go and not be responsible end up pregnant and then sacrifice your child for your own satisfaction that's what you're doing unless there's another circumstance we won't get into that but i'm talking about the basic thing of just going around having sex and not being responsible if you treat sex the way it's supposed to be there wouldn't be any unwanted babies do you understand that there wouldn't be any of that but that's a whole nother topic i just wanted to really get into how important it is to be able to allow god to lead you and there will be no divorces there won't be any abortions and there'll be less broken hearts okay you guys have a wonderful day i'm about to cook a homemade pie for my man he's about to come home soon and i love cooking i love doing the things as a woman that i'm supposed to be doing because it's wonderful it's it's a good feeling cooking for my husband he cooks for me too you know but they made it look like being a woman is such a horrible thing nowadays like being a woman is not good to submit to your husband or keeping the house nice and clean and and doing all these wonderful things now of course the husband's supposed to help but it's supposed to be god your husband the wife the children that's the way it's supposed to be god provides for your husband to be the provider you as a woman make it a home and a family and it all comes together so beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that yes women could go out there and make their money and do their things and help their husband but the man is supposed to be the head provider the man is supposed to feel confident as a man they make it look like being a man nowadays is not a good thing it's a beautiful thing and don't ever let the world take that away from you start focusing on god allow god to work in our life and know what we're supposed to bring to the table is beautiful all right god bless you guys take care